Namaskaram Sadhguru, this is Rakul and my question to you is that uh, in today's time we see that the assault against women has really increased the amount of rapes, domestic violence and all of us really feel bad about it. We do want a change to come in. Every day when we read in the newspapers, we do feel very bad about it. But what in your opinion can be done to bring this change? We all know stricter punishments is the way out but somehow that isn't happening. So what do you think can be done to bring a stop, to put a stop to this violence against women and make India a safer place for all of us? Namaskaram, uh, Rakul. Yes, uh, women's safety and uh, the levels of exploitation is definitely of a serious concern, a very grave concern indeed particularly in India, but actually everywhere in the world. If we have to refer to India, while well, you said stricter punishment is the way out, well, I don't think stricter punishment is the way out. We need to understand we are a society in transition. So many fundamental issues in this society we have not addressed. The most important thing, is education, general evolution in the society of accepting a female as a part of everything around us. This is a society which is moving in from a generation of women who were largely homebound to a generation of women who are moving out on the street to do almost everything that uh, generally a man does or used to do in the past. So there needs to be a certain evolution in everybody's minds that this is a normal thing. People are not used to close proximity, so many things are happening. Enforcement, of course, is important, but enforcement always comes after the assault has happened. Yes, that is important, but that is not the key. The fundamental thing is, right now, there's a whole lot of young youth, male youth particularly, who are moving from villages to city for the first time. And we have not addressed the fundamental human sexuality, we are not even willing to debate about it. Between the ages of fifteen and twenty-five, when the impact of hormonal influence on a human being is at its peak, there is no solutions. We have moralities which were fine in olden times, but we have… we are in a time where generally an organized settlement to these issues in the form of marriage comes after twenty-five largely. It used to be settled at the age of sixteen or seventeen, now it's coming after twenty-five and there is no solution as such. And it is time, we as a nation, we as a society, debate this, how are we going to address this? How are we going to help people to address this in a civilized manner? Is something that we have to come to terms with. Just law enforcement is not going to solve this. Education, evolution of the society and enforcement together is a solution. But uh, it is important, all of you who have some influence, and certain amount of following, particularly those of you in the film world, all of you should address this openly so that it becomes part of natural conversation in the society that there is something called as human sexuality which needs to be addressed. Not everybody is going to become an ascetic and transcend their uh, needs. Most human beings have to address it in a different way. How will a society facilitate this possibility? is something we have to look at. If we want this kind of assaults to go down, if we want women to be safe in our society, this is very important that we address a few fundamentals.